Hey there, let's explore how to boost your productivity using floating windows in VS Code. I'll show you how to detach tabs into their own windows, customize your layout, and use a few handy commands to manage windows more efficiently. Before we begin, I would like to thank everyone who supports this channel, especially the 2.16k subscribers. Your support helps me continue creating straight to the point tutorials. Alright, let's get started. To move an editor tab into a new window, first you have to open a file, then right click the tab of the file, and then select move into new window. Alternatively, you can drag and drop the tab out of the main window, and this will automatically open in a new floating window. And this new window works just like the main editor. You still get syntax highlighting, autocomplete, and everything else. And you can even split files and open additional floating windows. Floating windows are not just for editor tabs. You can also move integrated terminal or copilot chat to their own windows. Let's start with a terminal. Press Ctrl and backtick or Command and backtick on macOS to open a terminal. Now left click the terminal profile icon. Mine says bash, but yours might be CMD, PowerShell, ZSH, and so on. And then select Move Terminal into New Window. And to move the terminal back to the main window, either drag and drop or right click on its tab and choose Move Terminal into Panel. Now let's do the same for Copilot Chat. In my case, Copilot Chat is hidden by default. To show it, click on the toggle secondary sidebar button and then click the three dot menu and select open chat in new window. You can customize the floating window in a few ways. To make it more compact, click the set compact mode button. And to pin it on top of all windows, click set always on top. This uh, always on top option is especially useful if you're working with multiple monitors or juggling several windows. For example, when debugging or referencing documentation. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are some useful built-in commands to control the floating window behavior. And here are the main ones. You can also find them in the written version of this video. The link is in the description down below. Alright, so to assign a keyboard shortcut, press down Ctrl K and Ctrl S, or Command K and Command S on macOS, to open the keyboard shortcuts panel. Then search for the desired command. For example, I'm gonna search for workbench action toggle window always on top. And then Assign your preferred shortcut. I'm going to use, um, let's say, Control Alt and T. And now, instead of clicking the Set Always on Top button, I just press Control Alt and T to toggle it instantly. Alright, that was it. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the other tutorials on this channel. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.